Good morning, good people. This is your pool proof wisdom moment for yet another Monday. Thank God we've made it, right? Listen, that life you're living, the one that you've struggled through for however many number of years, that life that has challenged you, brought you tremendous joy, that life that has taught you many things, that has left you with many questions, the life that is always constantly on the move and you often find it difficult to catch up, the life that has been fraught with overwhelming sadness from time to time, with tremendous upliftment and enhancement, with people that you have grown to love and care for, who have grown to love and care for you. That life that you have embraced as you awoke on this morning and got the opportunity to breathe in that first inhalation of air, that first opportunity to think about the day that lies ahead, about your past, about your present, about your future. That life is invaluable, not monetarily, but spiritually. And when you're looking at where you are this morning, I want you to know that everything that has gone before has prepared you for exactly this moment and everything that is to come, this day included, is preparing you for what's ahead. You are not like a leaf upon the wind floating from place to place. Everything in this life is purposeful. You may not understand it. You may not appreciate it. Hell, you may not even like it. But I am here to tell you this morning, good people, that if you are here, that there is a reason for it. Looking for that reason is everything that we need to do when we get the opportunity to have another day. However long that day is, however many moments it may happen, these days are meant for living into life so that we can take that life and serve in it the unique purpose we were created for. So you are not someone who just happens to be around here. You are not just life existent. You are life powerful. And you have the great opportunity right here, right now, to get up, swing those legs over the side of the bed or whatever it is that you happen to be sleeping in. Stand up, look the world in the freaking face and say, I do not know what's ahead, but I am ready for it because I have trust and I have faith and I have hope. And with that message, at the beginning of this week, don't you dare let anything stand in your way and keep you from achieving whatever goal it is that you have in mind, whatever dream that you want to pursue, whatever it is that you need to rid yourself of, let it go. Embrace the possibilities of what can be. Ignore the history of what has been that has stood your way. And in this moment, take the opportunity to be accountable for the day you're going to have, for the week you're going to have, and for the experiences that will be considered important and valuable enough that they will help move your life forward. That chance, that opportunity is what you can do right now. Go ahead, take it, don't run from it, embrace it, act on it, and live into it. Because if that is what you do at this very moment, nothing and no one can stand in your way. That's what you're here for. Believe me, you can trust in that. And that is your Poolproof Wisdom moment for today. Find my podcast, Poolproof Wisdom, on Apple, Anchor, Google. I don't know. You know the drill. No need of me repeating them all. It's in a lot of places, folks. And I do the podcast and I do these moments because someone somewhere at this particular moment needs this message. I need to deliver it because it's part of what I consider my purpose. And between the two of us, we are able to change things for ourselves and perhaps other people. You can also find my book, my, my book that is the third in the series, I Am My Own Cause, the third act, Surviving and Thriving, available on Amazon, on Audible, and online booksellers everywhere. Don't miss out on the opportunity and the power you have in this moment, people. Do as I'm encouraging you and go forth hopefully, faithfully, and with enthusiasm and see what a difference that makes in the week you're going to have. God bless.